Casualty of the night. Hi. Bringing out the big daddies, the big guns. Why are we bringing all this gear out? What's going on? You might be wondering. Well, uh, Bill, my coworker, and myself, we've kind of had our eye on doing some steel wool photography. We've got the steel wool. This is uh, the grade zero. Yeah. This is how we're going to light it. All right. And it's all going to go inside the whisk. And once it's in there, you light it and then swing it. Some of the steel wool, actually, the pieces of it fly off and go all over, and that's the idea. So mix that with a long exposure. We should get some happy trails. These lights are gonna be probably in the way, but uh, could be dark enough. Let's give it a spin. Which way you want to face? Probably back here. So you shoot that way. There's less light there than there is here. Or six and one and a half was the other way. I don't care. That's better. Dialing in the exposure here. And there's. That's what I got this time. That looks pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go one less. Yeah, maybe a little darker. What's the settings you have that you're you're happy with here? That setting is eight seconds at f22. Eight seconds. On manual. All right. You think that's dark enough? It's definitely enough we'll time. Find out. All right. jacket. One, two, three. Let's go. Nice. That is awesome. All right, Bill, how did this experiment go for you? Went really well. We got the pictures we wanted. Would have been nice to have a darker night, a darker place to shoot, but this was an experiment. It all went well. We are going to get a bigger spray whisk, whisk so that it will put out a bigger ball of light. And uh, other than that, we do go through a lot of steel wool. I'm no kidding. Um, we went through a bag and a half, and it goes quick. You've got maybe 12 seconds. Probably. From the time it starts being good. So that's two exposures on the camera. Yep. Otherwise, everything went well. Really, I'm kind of bummed my jacket. I gave Mara a text message with that picture just to kind of get her warmed up to the idea that her husband's a jackass, wore his nice coat slinging sparks around. So that's one thing they don't tell you on YouTube. Wear shitty clothing, okay? And I wasn't even swinging the damn thing. And he comes out, oh, you should see the backside of his jacket. 
Is it bad? No, just kidding. Oh. Looks better than this.